So today we're here at the Balcones Canyon Land Preserve, which is endangered species habitat for eight endangered species and 27 species of concern. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a monitoring program for the endangered golden cheek warbler. Uh, he's flying, he's directly overhead, Jim. In which we try to answer questions like, how many do we have? How are they doing? And what type of management strategy do we need to employ to ensure their survival here in their breeding habitat? We have banded about 450 birds in the last three years. The purpose of banding is so that we can keep track of all the males. We have high densities in here, and if we weren't banding, it's very difficult to separate the individuals out. So that as they move around, we get an idea of, of who each individual is. Each individual has a unique color combination that they wear the rest of their life and that collar combination stays with them as they venture down to Central America, but they kind of came, they come right back to that territory. It, it's a challenge to find the nest. They're very cryptically colored and patterned, um, but when we find a female carrying material, we try to follow her and see if we can walk in. Sometimes it can take an hour or two hours. I've spent four hours. It shows up here pretty close. And still fails to do it. Uh, she's very, very good at hiding it. The female builds her nest almost entirely of the bark of the ash juniper tree. Um, in the past, we've had a researcher who has been able to put cameras on nests and was actually taken film of the nest contents, con continuous filming of the nest contents, and she was able to catch certain predators at the nest. But because there's higher densities of predators at the urban edge, that's much more dangerous environment for the endangered golden cheek warbler, which is one of the, the threats that the golden cheek warbler faces is the increased amount of urban edge and agricultural edge in the, in the vicinity of their habitat. The smaller the tract, the fewer areas that a predator has to look to find a nest, and the golden cheek warblers then get some protection from their anonymity, in a sense, the anonymity of the large forest. So that's one of the reasons why uh, we think the large tracts of forest may be so important for the survival of this particular species. Gotta find a good rock. What we're doing is we're setting up a mist net, and this mist net's six meters long. It's almost invisible. We've actually caught people who aren't paying close attention and walking close to the net. We try to find habitat where we have a narrow opening in which we can have the birds come down to a low perch and it's where they're going to want to cross back and forth. He's moving around a lot. So we want to, we're going to entice them down with the song so they'll jump across and they hit the pocket. Got him. And then fall into the pocket. We extract him. Well, you managed to get your head twisted in there pretty good, didn't you, buddy? I mean, we put those color bands on his leg. He was born last year, and he's coming back here this year to breed. And that's one of the things that, that banding helps us with is longevity studies as well. You're a feisty little critter. It's really good to see them yeah. snap because that means that he's very alert. He's still, he's still in good shape. Uh, if he would start to sag, we will want to release him very quickly. To release him, we put him back into the bander's grip, put him in the palm of my hand, and then just let him fly off. Whoosh. Now we'll be able to recognize that bird individually and say, oh yeah, that's Frank, or whatever. Captain America, Dreamsicle, right. uh, Neon, depending on their color combinations, mm. we right. name them after yeah. cartoon characters or, right. you know. One of the great things about Austin is, you know, we've got the Congress Street Bat Bridge. We've got all sorts of music festivals and music capital of the world. The most of the green hills that you see around Austin are Balcones Canyon Land Preserves. This habitat conservation plan to protect and uh, protecting endangered species. We're not only a great place to live, but we also protect other species that, uh, that share our community with us.